Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a radical expression based on another radical expression. So we're given x plus square root of x is equal to 5, and we are evaluating x plus 5 divided by square root of x. Let me tell you that in this case, x is going to be a real number. So we want x to be a real number. What happens if x is not a real number, if x is a non-real complex number, what happens in that case? Something to think about. Okay, great. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first method. Because first method is almost always more fun, right? All right, so my first method basically involves brute force and I'm going to solve this equation. I was given an equation, so why not solve it, right? So we're given x plus square root of x is equal to 5. This is a radical equation and there are different ways to solve it. For example, one method of solving it would be isolating, isolating the square root of x and then squaring both sides and then cleaning up the extraneous solutions if there are any. Obviously, you want x to be a real number, so x must be greater than or equal to 0. In this case, it's going to be positive, of course. It can't be 0, right? Because x equals 5 does not work. So... You want x to be positive, so 5 minus x needs to be positive, which means x needs to be less than 5. So that gives you a restriction on the solutions, and you can kind of work it out. That's one method uh, to do it. Another method, which I'm going to be using, is substitution. Obviously, substitution is a cool method, right? Don't you agree? Uh, I'm going to name square root of x equal y. And... This is greater than zero because square root of x, we know that x does not equal zero because x equals zero doesn't satisfy the equation. So we want our y value to be positive. So I'm going to turn this into a quadratic equation. If square root of x is equal to y and x is positive and y is positive, this implies that x is equal to y squared. So let's go ahead and replace x with y squared and square root of x with y and put the five on the left hand side and come up with a quadratic. This quadratic is super duper easy to solve with the quadratic formula. You know, it's going to equal negative 1 plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. Oh, great. Okay, so that's going to be the discriminant, or delta, whatever you want to call that, is going to be 21. And that is going to be, I don't know why this is just happening, Okay, this is going to be divided by 2. So those are the y values, but notice that we get two y values from here. One of them is negative 1 minus square root of 21 divided by 2. And the other one is negative 1 plus square root of 21 divided by 2. Now, the, the first solution we get is going to be less than 0 because the numerator uh, is a negative value. Therefore, we're not going to accept it because remember... We said that y has to be positive. So we're not we're not going to take this value and we're going to go with the unique value. Obviously, we should come up with a unique value. Otherwise, the, this is going to have multiple answers. Okay, so that is the y value we're going to accept. And let me write it in a nicer form, uh, writing the positive term first. So y equals square root of 21 minus 1 divided by 2. Obviously, y, I'm not interested in y directly. I want to find x. And remember, x is equal to y squared, so let's go ahead and square this expression. And to get x from here, we're going to square it. If you square a minus b, you know you get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And then if you put it together, you're going to get uh, 21 plus 1, which is 22, minus 2 times the square root of 21, divided by 4. And we can simplify this, divide by 2, and write it as 11 minus square root of 21, divided by 2. So that is the x value we are going to be using. And we also have a value for the square root of x because remember y is equal to square root of x. So those are the two values that I will be subbing into my expression. I'm supposed to evaluate x plus 5 over square root of x. Remember that. So I'm going to replace x with 11 minus root 21 over 2 and the square root of x with square root of 21 minus 1 divided by 2. We're going to flip-flop and then multiply these, and that's going to give us 11 minus root 21 over 2. 2 is going to be multiplied by 5, and then that's going to give me 10 divided by square root of 21 minus 1. At this point, I want to, what is that called? Rationalizing the denominator, right? I want to rationalize the denominator. 
multiply by the conjugate of this expression here, which is root 21 plus 1, multiply and divide. And now, this is just going to stay as is. I'm not going to distribute it. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Well, it de depends. But when you multiply these two together, you're going to get the following. You're going to get 10 times the square root of 21 plus 1 divided by 21 minus 1, which is going to be 20. Now, we can definitely simplify this. Let's go ahead and simplify. And we get a 2 here, which is nice because we don't have to make a common denominator. We already have 1. And the numerator becomes 11 minus the square root of 21 plus the square root of 21 plus 1 all over 2. Square root of 21 cancels out. And we end up with 11 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 6. So my expression, uh, which uh, was given as x plus 5 over square root of x, is 6. And that's what I was trying to solve for, right? Or evaluate. Great. So that is the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and use the second method and see what that looks like and see if we can find the exact same value by using the second method. Obviously, second method is going to be nicer and hopefully you can call this more elegant, but it's up to you to decide. So we're given x plus root x equals 5 and we're supposed to evaluate x plus 5 over root x, right? That's what we're supposed to find. Now, I'm going to be doing something interesting here and something. this is something that we don't uh, always see or uh, sometimes you overlook these things. So, um, you know, something to think about. Usually we replace variables with numbers, but how about replacing a number with a variable, right? So in this case, in our expression, we're going to replace 5 with x plus root x. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to start off with my expression right here. So it's x plus 5 over square root of x. And now I'm going to replace 5 with this because 5 is equal to that. So let's go ahead and replace 5 with x plus root x. And of course, I'm supposed to divide it by root x. And this is what I'm supposed to evaluate. Now notice that this can be factored. Square root of x divides x. So I can write it as square root of x times the quantity root x plus 1 divided by root x. And now, provided that x does not equal 0, and we know that x does not equal 0, we can simplify this, and we end up with x plus square root of x plus 1. But guess what? We already know x plus square root of x is equal to 5, so it has a numerical value. Therefore, I can just replace x plus root x with 5, and this gives me, for x plus 5 over root x, 6 as the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.